It's 1955, and 19-year-old Phyllis is an art student. But her favourite day of the week is Saturday, when she puts her brushes aside and she wears her red shoes to dance the night away with a tall, dark, handsome man. Across town, in the same year, Max is born in North London. Ten years later, and Phyllis is a mother of three, up to her eyeballs in laundry, nappies and housework. But a sketch pad is never too far away. At ten years old, Max tolerates school, but loves football. Dreaming of the day, he dons the red and white strip of his favourite team. In a heartbeat, 20 years have passed. Phyllis's children have grown and she teaches art at a local college. While at the weekend, still wearing her red shoes to dance with her favourite man. Max finds himself cradling a treasure more precious than any trophy, his daughter. Whilst working as a PE teacher, the football is never far away. In 2005, Max has hung up his own football boots, but his dreams live on in his eldest daughter, who plays for the Premiership team he wants long to represent. For Phyllis, the world begins to turn grey. She buries her favourite dancing partner. Broken-hearted, she lays down her paintbrush. Memories fade, and the world becomes an increasingly confusing place. Ten years later, the fog of dementia means that Phyllis is living in a care home. Life is a muddle, and even a chair is too big. Max ends his year by the side of a football pitch coaching, but before the final whistle blows, he collapses. An ambulance is called. A stroke is diagnosed. care home they try to find Phyllis the right chair, not too shallow, not too wide, too deep, too short or too high. Like Goldilocks it must be just right. Now she's able to look up and enjoy the garden views. Then even when so many memories and skills have faded, Phyllis picks up her old paintbrush and starts creating again. In the hospital, Max faces months of rehabilitation, but medical staff know how he sleeps affects his ability to sit. The multitude of staff working with him ensure that his position is symmetrical, safe and comfortable. With hard work, Max finds himself once again coaching football with the young team he loves. Then after a game, he returns home to tell an old lady called Phyllis about the match. Together they share a lifetime of memories. Red shoes, painting, football. Every person has a story and we are never too old for great care that leads to us sharing our talents and participating in the community.